Rat Trap Productions, we show you how to do stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to fix or replace a ceiling fan in a bathroom. First thing you do with this style is you're just going to pull this down. You'll see that there are these one, two little spring-loaded clips on each side. One, two. What I need to do is squeeze one of, squeeze them together so that it comes out and it drops down. So see, it's just a slot up there and you're just gonna squeeze those and put them in. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here. Take that one out, take that one out, put that down. Now I'm left with the motor. First thing I wanna do is unplug the motor. It's just like a common plug. So there's a screw right there. I'm going to take that out. See how it's got a flange there? It's got a flange there. There's no flange here. There's no flange here because there's two little tabs where it presses into this. So what I need to do is bring it down this way and out. And out. Alright, so I'm going to replace the motor instead of rebuilding it or anything like that. Now you can buy these all you have to do is type in your model number and your replacement will come up and you can either get a replacement when it has the motor, the fan, and also this plate for like 30 bucks or you can get just the motor for 15 to 20 bucks. So that's what I chose. All I'm going to do is loosen these two and then just lift this plate. So I'm going to keep this plate but replace the motor. First thing I'm going to do is clean this up though because it's got a bunch of junk on it. So here's my new motor. Boom. Pull that out. Lay that on the side. Pull this out. Here's my new fan. Here's the instructions in case you want those but we don't need them. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is just mount the new motor in here. You'll see that this plate has a cutout like that. It naturally is going to want to fit there, right? Because there's the flat spot there, there's the flat spot there. So, I'm going to put this in back through those two holes. I'm going to take these little nuts, little nuts. Okay, now I have those tight. This cutout is facing the motor, so I'm going to need to flip it. And what I'm going to do is simply press the fan motor or fan blade on to the motor shaft until the end of the shaft is just, just level with the fan. Just like that. And now we can put that fan back. I'm going to take this that I'm going to plug in and get it on the other side of the motor. So it's on this side. Put it in those two tabs first. And then I move it up here. Then I'm going to take this machine screw, put it in here. It's nice and tight there. I plugged it in here. Boom. Now I'm ready to give it a test. There we go. Now I'm going to put the cover back on. Put one of these in first. I know it's really hard to see. Now that that's in, now I just take my finger, I'm going to squeeze them together, put the other side in, let it hang. Grab my other spring. I'm going to do the same thing. So the way this works is it just sucks right up because it's a spring. It's perfectly sized. Give it one more test. Bada boom, bada bang. Oh yeah. Rat Trap Productions, we show you how to do stuff today. I showed you how to replace your ceiling fan.